Welcome friends, it's great to see you. Welcome to ARC Sunday School at Home. My name's Miss Heather. Let's have some fun together. We'll start with a song. We're going to have a blast exploring how Jesus loves everyone. That's our Bible point today. So every time you hear those words, Jesus loves everyone, I want you to respond in a certain way. So do what I do. You're going to put your hands over your heart and say, thank you, Jesus. Let's try it out. Jesus loves everyone. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. I'm so glad that Jesus loves everyone. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Decker, the decorator crab, is our Bible memory buddy. How much do you know about decorator crabs? Let's find out with a this or that challenge. You're going to hear two fun facts about crabs. It's up to you to decide which one is true, this or that. So here's our question. Do decorator crabs attach sea stars or sea sponges to their shells. Hmm. Crab walk your hands in the air to vote for sea stars, or crab walk your hands on the floor to vote for sea sponges. Now, let's make a drum roll. The answer is, they attach cool creations like sea sponges to their shells. Wow, that's really cool. Let's watch a video about Decker, the decorator crab. <laughs> hey, I'm Decker, and I'm a deep sea dwelling decorator crab. Now, just because I'm a crab doesn't mean I'm grouchy. I totally dig the way God made me. Would you look at that? I decorate my shell with some of God's other cool creations, like seaweed or sea sponges. My decorations don't just make me look good either. These awesome accessories help me blend into my surroundings so I stay safe from other animals that may want to turn me into a snack. Let me tell you a little bit about some of my other crabby friends. My friends the spider crabs, they get creative too. 
They stick sea anemones on their shells to sting predators that may want to have spider crab for dinner. <laughs> gotcha! And get this, my Japanese spider crab friends can grow to 13 feet across. They're the largest crab in the world. I bet that's bigger than any person you've ever met. I love how God made us crabs, but I'm really impressed with how God made you. You people have fingers and toes and ears and all that weird stuff called hair. God even put something inside your heart called love. Big or small, short or tall, people are all important to God. One time in the Bible, some parents brought their kids to meet Jesus, and Jesus' friends didn't like it. But Jesus told his friends, Let the little children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. Jesus loves everyone, especially kids. That's because you can show adults what Jesus' love is like. In the Bible, Book of John, Chapter 13, verse 34, it says, So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other, just as I have loved you. You should love each other. <laughs> so, lead the way, kids. You show the world what God's kingdom is like. You tell the truth and encourage people when they're bummed out. You work hard, even when it's tough. You create masterpieces that bring a smile to someone's face. So forget about blending in with the crowd or doing great things for Jesus someday. You matter right now. I'm a unique part of God's creation. I show God's creativity and attention to detail. And you're even more special. You're God's extra special creation. You can show the world what God is like. You're an important part of God's family. Jesus said it, so it's true. So go ahead, keep showing people in your world, Jesus loves everyone. The Bible is God's true story of love. It's a book that's been helping people grow closer to God for thousands of years. And it can help us today too. Our Bible memory verse is John, verse, John chapter 13, verse 34. Let's say the verse together. I'll say a line and then you repeat after me. So now I am giving you a new commandment. So now I am giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Love each other. Just as I. Just as I. Have loved you. Have loved you. You should love each other. You should love each other. Great job. I love that God's word helps us know how to live and how to love. I'm so glad to know that Jesus loves everyone. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. His love will never give up on us. Let's celebrate that with a song.
Welcome back. I saw you singing over there. Great job. In today's Bible story, Jesus welcomes a group of kids. So I want you to get your take-home pack and find three to four pipe cleaners out of the pack. And we're going to make some pipe cleaner people. So you're going to make a big one like an adult and a smaller one like a kid. An adult can help you to, to craft some arms and legs if you need to cut the pipe cleaners. Here I've got some samples, right? Here's our adult and here's our kid. I'll start the countdown clock, but feel free to pause the video if you need some more time to make your people. Show me your big person, your adult, and show me your kid. Awesome job. All right, so who do you feel welcomed by and why? Maybe it's a parent or a grandparent, or maybe it's your teacher. Maybe it's me. Where do you feel most welcomed? Is it at your house or school or maybe here at church? You know, it feels good to be welcomed, and we can't wait to welcome you back to Arcola Church sometime soon. Did you know we're always welcomed by Jesus because Jesus loves everyone? Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Now, I need your help describing something that happened in the Bible. I need you to put your family members into two groups, all right? So do that now. You're going to divide up into two groups. And the first group is going to stand up at the front of the room facing your video screen. Everybody in the second group is going to sit towards the back of the room. Okay, simple so far, right? So you've got people in front and people in back. The group that will play the part of little kids, um, the group in the back is going to be little kids. So they're going to be like a year or two old. They can walk. Maybe they're toddling around, right? So let's see you toddle. Let me see your best impression of a toddler. Maybe you're still sucking your thumb. Let's see a little pretend thumb sucking action. Great, great, great. You're making great little kids. All right, now you're going to keep acting out what I say along the way, right? Now imagine you're sitting with your parents, standing in a crowd that's listening to someone really important, Jesus. All right, stay there for now. So the first group, the ones who are up in the front near the video screen, you are Jesus' disciples, his closest friends. I'm going to play the part of Jesus. <clears throat> so you disciples have been with me all day, and you're tired of people interrupting me. It happens a lot. And when I come to town, lots of people want to be with me. There are sick people who want to be healed, people with problems who want my help. There's always a huge crowd that wants to listen to what I say. Remember, I'm Jesus. 
So sometimes, you disciples, you act like you're my bodyguards. Stand like you're my bodyguards, keeping people away from me. Okay. You want to keep people from interrupting me, and at least unimportant people from interrupting me, like those kids back there. Look at them, still sucking their thumbs. And they're waving at us too, oh my goodness. Now what are they doing? They're jumping up and down. You disciples turn around and face the back of the room. Keep an eye on those kids. They might wander up here and distract me. Let me know if they come toddling in this direction. Here's what the Bible says that happened on one particular day. We're going to read from Luke chapter 18, verse 15. Some people brought their little children for Jesus to bless. But when his disciples saw them doing this, they told the people to stop bothering him. Uh-oh, look, look at those kids back there. Here they come with their parents. They're walking towards us. Jesus may not see that as a problem, but you disciples do, right? So lock your elbows, form a wall to keep those kids away from Jesus. The Bible says that disciples scolded the parents for bothering Jesus. Wave your fingers at those parents, disciples. The Bible says that when Jesus saw what was happening, he got upset with his friends. Take a look at this and listen to what Jesus said. This is Luke 18, verse 16 and 17. <clears throat> So Jesus called the children over to him and said, Let the children come to me. Don't try to stop them. People who are like these children belong to God's kingdom. You will never get into God's kingdom unless you enter it like a child. You heard it. Better let those kids through, disciples. Thank you, actors. Everybody take a seat. Great job. Jesus' disciples wanted to keep the kids away from Jesus. They didn't want them to bother Jesus, and they didn't want them around. Have you ever felt like that, like someone didn't want you around? What was that like? It can definitely hurt when somebody doesn't want you around. But Jesus is never like that. Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. And Jesus is always paying attention to us. He cares about us all the time. You have people here at church who care about you too. Remember, Jesus is always paying attention to you. Jesus knows everything that happens to you. He always cares and he always loves you. Decker, our Bible memory buddy friend, can help us remember that Jesus loves everyone. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. You should have a Decker sticker in your take home pack as well as a wind up toy to help you remember about Jesus' love throughout the week. Today's Bible story shows how much love Jesus has for kids, kids just like you. But he doesn't love just kids, Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. You and your family can read about our friend Jesus in your take home flyer uh, for week three. As you listen, close your eyes and imagine that you're hanging out with Jesus. Maybe you're in the couch in your living room or eating lunch at the kitchen table. After you finish reading that flyer, fold the paper up into a paper airplane and make it fly. Let's say a prayer together. Dear God, there are kids who may be feeling left out, isolated or ignored. Sometimes I feel this way too. Help me to remember you are always with me, always paying attention and always loving me. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm so glad Jesus loves everyone. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Let's get a little crazy and have some fun celebrating his love with one last song before we go. Have a great week. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it. Here to spread the